this system is finished. Now, last year, I proposed uh, uh, in, in steps three specific remedies, which are not cures of the problem, but are absolutely necessary to be put into place immediately, then, and even more so now. Uh, these three remedies, without that, there's no future for the United States and no future for the world. First of all, that all regular banks be put into protection, bankruptcy protection, by the federal government. This means they will not close their doors. This means that there will be a restriction on what, which of their accounts will be paid. The rest will be frozen. At the same time, there will be no evictions of householders because of mortgage default. They will remain in their homes under conditions which are acceptable conditions, and they will continue to function under bankruptcy protection. We must have a two-tier credit system. In other words, the proposal is 4% is the standard interest rate for regular banking. Therefore, if you protect bank deposits by having a 4% interest rate in the United States, that means that you're going to keep your financial capital that's viable in those banks. That is, you're not going to take the capital out of the banks and put it on the street for lending and take it out of the bank. You're going to keep it in the bank, but you're going to use the bank cr credit of that capital, financial capital, in the bank as a lendable asset, which you will lend either at 4% or uh, with government protection, federal government protection, as low as 1% to 2% for special projects. That means the capital of the United States, including its financial assets, its credit, will not be depleted the way it's being sucked dry now. We have to have a leading presidential candidate of the United States affirm what I have proposed be done. That is, the United States must propose to the governments of Russia China and India, that these four major countries will agree to sponsor a committee, an alliance of powers, including other powers, to establish a fixed exchange rate financial or credit system internationally. If a country such as Russia, China, India makes a treaty agreement with the United States which is a credit-based nation, then the currency of those countries, Russia, China, India, and other countries, becomes on, becomes on an equal status with the United States. It becomes an integral part of a world system while preserving the sovereignty of each of these countries. This is the only rational, feasible option as alternative to pure hell throughout the planet for generations to come. If you care about humanity, you will insist that these measures be taken boldly and now, because we are right now, after one year of mass stupidity from the top down in the US government and other governments, we're now just weeks away from the point at which the whole system goes into disintegration.